welcome to Yupnik Spirits, where we are going to do an energy read. Let's see what the energy is popping in. Some of you may have made some bad choices over the weekend that you've had to own up to. Good luck with that. Some you have to live with, but you know, you learn, right? The wish. This is the Aquarius card. This is about going towards what you've desired. It's healing, going towards something you know will heal you. Something that might be emotional. Something that is just... Oh, what you're not seeing, though. And it is really hidden, too. Crossroads. Or maybe you see it and you're trying to figure out which path to take that's the most just. What is the most healing? And what is the most fulfilling wishfully? What is the situation that you manifested? I think we're done here. Let's head off to the other witches. I keep seeing the manifesting. Oh. truth, seeing, seeing the situation, seeing which route to take, seeing where to go, seeing which road is best for you. You no longer have to be blinded to the path. Like, you're, you're going to understand which one you need to go down. Not sure if you're going to understand why, though. But you will know where to go. There's... So we've got fast moving energy. We've got communication. Maybe there's communication that shows you the way. That brings this epiphany to you. That makes you decide what crossroads you need to take. The one that is the most just and the one that offers the most healing. I feel like this is burdensome though. This isn't an easy choice. But it's worth it. Because we have an Ace of Cups here. It's happiness. It's self-love. That's the most healing there can be. This one's done. So... The energy to want to go down a different path is going to come in very, very, very strong. So 
So you're going to have to write it. But be um, mindful. Don't get whisked away by it. Is that what it's called? Whisked. Right? Like, you hear that? That's coming in fast. It kind of makes you want to go see what that is. Go outside. Don't be too drawn. Keep your grounding. Oh. This could heal a heartbreak. And being left out in the cold. That's beautiful. It's exactly what you should be going towards. I did see the self-love, though. That's... You're juggling it, though. Like, you're... But this is, like, the end of juggling. This is, like, going towards. Like, okay, I know exactly what I need to do. I've heard what I need to hear. Oh, my God, we got the Knight of Swords. Again. Coming straight in. This could be your thoughts, too. Just, you're getting so many different thoughts coming in fast. And you're like, this is exactly how I'm going to get out of the cold. This is exactly how... I'm going to produce self-love. This is exactly how I'm going to do this situation. You could be giving your own self the epiphany of how to produce your own healing, which is beautiful. But it all starts with taking a chance and going somewhere new, taking that leap of faith. Heck yeah. It's also about dropping the burdens. Not feeling overwhelmed by what everyone else says. Not, no longer being in your head about all the bullshit that's around you. Finally dropping what everyone, everyone else's words, thoughts expressions, whatever, that's been holding on to you, just dropping them, like, letting these swords just fall from your back and be like, I don't give a fuck anymore. This is what's most healing for me. This is the way I need to go. Screw everybody, but this is how I'm going to get better for myself. And that's beautiful, and I love it, and that is what I have for you. So, yeah. Yeah. If this resonated, all my info's down below. Peace, love, light, and namaste.